Well, prepare to get judgy, as today we are extending our Stallone library with another fantastic selection of the 1995 movie Judge Dredd. A movie with more one-liners and conversation pieces, and I mean that as a good thing, because this is Red Eye Reviews. So, Sylvester Stallone makes a good-looking Judge Dredd, but there were a slew of issues with this movie. For starters, despite hiring the dude for the role, our director Danny Cannon, which is an insanely good name, had a terrible time with our mumbling muscle man. Such a bad time that he swore he would never work with him again. The movie itself also ended up being very different than the one they had wanted, partially due to Stallone asking for a ton of rewrites because he wanted the movie to feel more comedic. Yeah, Judge Dredd movie was supposed to have jokes in it. But also, they needed to make the movie appropriate for the theaters. So it was given an NC-17 rating, and they had to recut it five different times before the MPAA gave it the R rating. Then, Stallone wanted to cut the thing even further to try to get PG-13. So, uh, let's just say it could have been a lot darker. Probably should have been darker, but, you know, it is what it is. But we start with our good old comic book intro, and, uh, Marvel? Take a hint. Take a hint. Yeah, this is how you do it. Just clip art a bunch of comic book covers all over the page. Oh, yeah, show some pages. See? These books aren't empty. Look, comics. This is comics. In the third millennium. The world changed. They were the police, jury, and executioner all in one. Ah, you know it's gonna rock when James Earl Jones is on the payroll. But the world is messed up, and most people live in these things called mega cities, which are all over the place. Our law keepers we call judges, and these guys act as the world's police, judge, judy, and executioner. Ferguson, Herman. And it's got Rob Schneider in it. Tune in next time when Rob Schneider is a stapler. Also, fun fact, this role was first offered to Joe Pesci, like of all people, which I think we can all agree would have probably been a better choice. But hey, Robbie does a decent job. Oh, yeah, they also moved the Statue of Liberty into the middle of the city. That seems like more trouble than it's worth. But I guess they did this to honor her. I don't know. A super honorable guy. She has a giant hole in her head. Way to go. That's it. I think that's heavenly haven. In your dreams, buddy. Yeah, heavenly. We cut into just, uh, you know, your standard riot. Better than prison. Ah! Jesus Christ. My personal favorite rioter is this beautiful being in the hat right there. Sir, you might get stabbed, but you're going to look good doing it. But today's riot is getting out of hand, so cue the judges. Just like an academy simulation, right down to the crossfire. Oh yeah, all that academy training that uh, taught you to drive yourself into the dead center of a riot and then shoot up into the surrounding buildings. But these rookies are already in trouble, so cue Judge Dredd. Drop your weapon! My God, you're incredible. They're firing 20 millimeter caseless sledge around at 300 meters. You're safe. Oh, yeah, well, it, it's not lethal at this range, but it would still puncture that underarm sweatshirt you're wearing, sir. But they do go upstairs. They mess some of these fools up. Shit! This room has been pacified. Rookie Hawk! All that academy training did you some good. Academy class 101. Open doors and just stand there. Double whammy. Double whammy. Code 3613. Let me guess. Life. Death. Oh my god. <laughs> you boner? I do. Oh, Stallone. I am loving these one-liners, my dude. But we see Rob Schneider is there, and I know he has a character name. All right, I get it. 
but he just acts like Rob Schneider in most of his movies, and that's kind of more fun for me to imagine. Five years, half in penitentiary. Case closed, take him away. Don't close the case! You're misjudging me! We cut to the Council of Judges discussing how to control crime in the city. The city is in chaos. For social order, we need tighter reins. Oh, well, I, uh, I found the Palpatine of the group, everybody. Mark my words, nobody is this wrinkly and serious if they're not a bad guy. Straight! You know, some people think working the... No! Dread! Okay. All right, folks, we need to talk. Judge Dredd does not take his helmet off. If you ever read any comic book, like, ever made, he doesn't do this. I, I think he took it off one time, and they even censored it. Because in the books, Dredd is horribly disfigured, and in this movie, Stallone's, he's, like, only mildly disfigured. So, I guess it was okay in this situation. But this judge walks into every major bad guy's holding cell ever. Who could we run into? Could it be Loki? Magneto? Tai Lung? Nope. It's not nearly as cool as any of those people. It's just this dude named Rico. What is that? It ends. But the key he hands him turns into a gun. I I don't even know why you handed him anything in the first place. I don't think he needed to touch this. Activate alarm! Voice not recognized. So the guns don't register commands if your voice is a little raspy. Damn, dude, you better not come into work if you have a sore throat. You would not make it through the front door. But the guns don't shoot the obvious criminal who kind of like sneaks his way out of this room. He does manage to escape. He heads to a future pawn shop to gather his things. You're holding a package for me. The code name is Lazarus. Hey, wait a second. Don't touch it. That's programmed to only recognize a judge's hand. I must be a judge. And we learn he's a judge. Oh, snap. Rico kills this guy. He goes in the back room. He turns on this old ancient war machine to be his minion. And they call this machine Hammerstein. Which, if you've read the comic books, Hammerstein is actually a character in the books. And he's awesome and he has a whole story. But in this movie, he's just a big robot. So I'm not going to call him Hammerstein. I'm going to call him Big Robot. Might not be creative, but it is accurate. Across the city, we see Judge Dredd in the flesh has burst into a news reporter's home and murdered him and his wife. And if you've ever seen a Sylvester Stallone movie, it's obviously a setup. Come on, this is half of his movies out there. It's never him. But the world doesn't know that yet. So Judge Dredd gets taken into custody and heads to trial. Is it true? I'm innocent. Dredd. No! And even future security cameras look like garbage. Guys, 4K is not that expensive. Come on, 1995's version of the future. You should have known better. Please describe the working of the standard judge's sidearm. Model 2 is coded to the personal DNA of the judge using the weapon. The projectile is tagged with the relevant DNA. Okay, so she claims that these guns take your fingerprint when you fire it, but a uh, part of the uniform is gloves. So that kind of sounds like some bullshit to me. However, he is found guilty, and as long as he doesn't lose his cool, uh, maybe won't be too bad. Damn it, Sylvia blew it. To get his sentence reduced from death to just life in prison, which, if you ask me, probably take the first one, this judge decides to retire. And apparently in the future, when you retire, they force you to leave the city and, like, go and try to find the set of Mad Max somewhere in the desert. Well, good luck, old man. You didn't even pack sunscreen. There's not even a lunch on you, but I don't have high hopes. Meanwhile, Rico reveals himself to Judge Griff, and he's like, cool, let's, uh, let's be evil together, you and I. In the meantime, I want chaos, Rico. Now I want fear racing through every street. I'm feared. I am not a beginning. Ah, you busted it. On his way to prison, Dredd runs into Rob Schneider, who somehow recognizes him just by the bottom half of his face. 
Fred? God, don't hit me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Two wrongly convicted guys sitting right next to each other. Great. Mr. I am the law. But out in the desert, these random bros who just happen to live in the path of this plane decide to shoot them down and further develop the plot. Also, is this a plane or a ship? Do ships go into space and planes don't? What about space planes? Anyways, everybody dies except Dredd and Rob who get taken. There's Link, my oldest. Bye. Junior. Howdy. He had to make some alterations when he was a child. Seven, one. I don't suggest you make him angry. That's a smart move, old man. Preheat the oven now, 425, about 25 minutes should do the trick. And then to add to this, we learned that they are cannibals. They're cannibals. You can't eat me! Ah. I've got eczema! Eat thread! He works out! Rob, you had me going until you brought up muscle. Because, okay, here's the deal. Realistically, if you were to eat somebody, you want a little bit of fat, right? Get a little nice marbling, like muscular people would be too tough and just too fibrous. But on the plus side, if you did eat Stallone, your meat would probably be pretty well oiled. I'm assuming it's olive oil that's all over his muscles. So Stallone beats them all up. Our old man, Burning Man guy, he shows up just in time. Chief Justice Joseph. No! To get Samwise stabbed through the back. But, you know, the blade's not glowing, so there's no orcs nearby. We're probably good. However, we do have to fight the Walker Texas toaster oven. I knew you'd say that! Fight over. <laughs> our, our old man hangs out just long enough to tell us some exposition. Create the perfect chart. Four decades ago, DNA samples were taken. We altered it to enhance the best qualities. We created you. Wait, Dredd was a test tube baby. Then you made him in a lab and he, he came out looking like that? Maybe, maybe put him back in. I, I don't think he was quite ready yet. That old man dies, our heroes try to find their way back into the city. We can't just knock on the wall and say, Hello, Cursed Earth Pizza. Dread, there's no way in. Rob, sure there is, dude. If movies like The Rock have taught us anything, every maximum security area has a tunnel full of dangerous traps and fire that if you time it correctly, you can get through untouched. All we need to do is find ourselves Sean Connery and we'll be set. All right, you ready? You kidding? Did wearing that helmet all those years compress your brain? No, the uh, the opposite. It's huge. Look at it. But as the human bobblehead begins to run through the tunnel of fire, they first of all they have to be the slowest running people I think I've ever seen in a movie. A lot of motion, but not a lot of speed. Ah! I'm also not going to second guess why the fire came from behind them when, in the other shot, it came from the other way. I'm alive! Meanwhile, in the city, the judges are getting targeted by Rico and his robo-toy. And because they are dropping like flies, the council agrees to reopen their cloning program. Project Janus. Janus could... Janus could what? Accelerated growth incubators are more developed now. Authorize access to file, codename Janus. Acknowledged. Playing. My name is Jonas. On Spotify. Alexa, cancel. Anyways, Dredd and Rob sneak into the base. Dredd disguises himself as a judge, and Rob disguises himself as him himself. Uh, Red. Silence. Red. Yeah, you should totally keep calling him Dredd loudly and often. That's cool. In the council chamber, now that the program is unlocked, Rico pops in. He murders all the old folk. Joseph. What did you what did you just say? Joseph. We don't have time. We don't have time. Dread goes sprinting out of the building. He does the cutest little jump down some stairs. Oh! Say whatever you guys want. That's the best scene in the movie, right there. They take off on their future flying bikes that don't work at all. Like that's that's the running joke. I'm not even lying. That's the joke. 
they somehow still continue to use the things. Wait a minute, the giant billboard can kill people? Who signed off on this? That's horrible publicity. Well, hey, come on down to Pete's Flying Car Emporium. You know the sign on Interstate 5 that kills people? That's us. They managed to get away. Back on planet Camino, the clone army is underway. I'm gonna take the existing DNA sample right now and trash it. Take this DNA sample. Processing. Man, the future sucks, right? Like, you got flying cars, plasma grenades, billboards that kill people, and yet you still need massive needles to get a little bit of DNA? New sample? You left that DNA in there for over 30 years? What did you replace it with? No. No, no, no. There, there can't be hundreds of clones running around without necks or, or massive tongues that they can hardly speak through. Joseph. This is the worst case scenario. Dredd meets up with his old judge friend again, and the three of them head to the lab. Jesus Christ! How in the hell is this slow ass robot doing anything productive? It's what, it's gotta be like 50 updates behind schedule? Hey, you know, on the plus side, I bet you he still has the original MS Paint installed on him. That could be kind of fun to use. But during the fight, Rob gets shot, and don't, he'll be fine, don't worry about it. He's just a whiner. One big, endless supply of perfection. You started a mess! I caused the revolution! You betray the law! 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 <laughs> law! Don't try to out Stallone Stallone, man. Rob shows up, he starts pulling wires out of the back, it results in some chaos. Lady, I, I would read that comic book. I would. So the clones start to wake up, and they're a little slimy, but, you know, sci-fi is taught as anything. It's that if you're in a tank, you're bound to be a little slimy. None of that matters, though, because, like, 30 seconds later, the whole place starts to explode. I also, I also forgot to mention that they're in the Statue of Liberty right now. It, it doesn't matter. It's a, it's a dumb reason why they're here. But, you know, here we are. Joseph Dredd, I hereby judge you the sentence of death. Don't miss. Court's adjourned. Man, the one-liners really do make this movie. So, the bad guy is dead. The heroes do win. Am I under arrest? That won't be necessary. We'd like you to consider the first position of Chief Justice. Chief Justice? Uh, I, sir, I think you mean Chief Judge? You know, if you're following the books at all, which you guys clearly didn't, except for, like, the name of the main character. Oh, that's great. He gets all the credit. Dread. That's it? No goodbye? Goodbye, Urshan. Also, I just realized that if Dread is a test tube baby, like, he probably wouldn't have a belly button, right? Did that never alarm him when he was growing up? Did he not, like, ask his friends if they had belly buttons? Surely people noticed in the locker room that this guy didn't have a belly button. Comic book fans, help me out. Does Judge Dredd have a belly button or not? Tell me down in the comments, and while you think of that, let's head on over to Red Eye Reacts. Oh, duty. Feeding these parasites. Are you drunk? I'm a ghost. G y you sound drunk. At the end of the day, the only thing that counts is this. It's the Book of Jehovah. You know, yeah, you know. Haven't you ever had a friend? What? I want to know what happened. I judged him. You don't know how to switch off! Commander. Recall. Status. Bodyguard. Mission. Mission. <laughs> Kiss me, you fool. I'll drop out all the artificial pixels. Dad. Mom. We must have used a CGI terminal and a scan quad to make this. Dude, just say Photoshop. 
He used Photoshop. That's all this is. The only thing that's real is the baby. I have been waiting my whole life to hear you say that. And now here are some of my favorite things said in this movie. Eat recycled food for a happier, healthier life. It's good for the environment and okay for you. Why don't I run down there and surrender? Sort of throw them off guard. Wouldn't it feel good to have an emotion once in a while, huh? Emotion. There ought to be a law against them. You got out the window. 40 floors? It would have been suicide. Maybe, but it's legal. How do you plead? Not guilty. I knew you'd say that. Or till you apologize. The law can't apologize. Now choose. The best thing you can do is kill me. Mm, his neck is high. Makes me trust him. That is everything. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked what you saw, please consider subscribing to the channel. Like the video and leave me some comments. Do you think Judge Dredd has a belly button? Tell me down below. If you want the power to vote on future movie reviews, you can head to my Patreon page and sign up for the power to do so there. A huge shout out to everybody there as you all voted on today's video. And it was a treat for myself and I hope it was a treat for you all. Once again, that link is down below. My merch store link is down below and the Discord channel link is also found down below. I will see you all next time, and until then, stay happy and stay healthy. You started a massacre! I caused the revolution! You betrayed the law! Law!